Okay, so we are going to do a split letter tutorial. I just did one, but it recorded, and um, it didn't record my voice, so it would have not have helped you. So I'm going to X that out. All right, so what we're going to start is um, choosing the letter you'd like. We're just going to go with a D, and you're going to make sure it's highlighted, and then choose the font you'd like. I'm using Regal font from dafont.com. Um, it's free, so I'm going to fill it in because I just don't like working with an outline. Uh, then you're going to select this little uh, draw rectangle over here, and you're going to place it wherever you'd like for the split to be. You don't need to do like, oh, that big. No, you can just do a little bitty split. Uh, and then you're going to select all, object, modify, subtract, and this is going to actually split the letter in half. Okay, and then we will realize that once it's split, it uh, kind of becomes ungrouped. So I like to just group them back so that I don't accidentally move something during my uh, process. Now you're going to lift this one up, the top part, bottom part, whatever part, uh, you're going to bring it up like so. That looks good to me. And you're going to draw another rectangle. And uh, this is going to be put on the end here to give the letter uh, more of a finished look so that it doesn't just look like this. I'm going to fill that in. And to make it easy, you just duplicate it. And it pops right back up right there. And you're going to put it on top of this one. You're going to put it on top, not like this, but on top. And then once you put it on top, you're going to select the first half and weld. That way the uh, rectangle we just did, and same with the bottom half, becomes a part of the cut and like a part of the design itself. You'll realize that once you weld, as it ungroups some things. So again, I like to group them so that uh, I don't move anything around. And that is your split letter. Super simple, super awesome. Um, I like to keep the grid lines up so I can keep everything uh, in line here. Then you're going to choose a font and, uh, you know, put whatever you'd like. Oh, look at that. <laughs> whatever you'd like in the middle. I mean, your name, whatever you're putting. And then to draw the outline box, you draw a rectangle again. And you're going to draw it like so. And then you are going to offset it. Here's an offset button right here. Go to offset corner, apply, and there you go. Now you have, I'm going to select all, group it as one, and now you have a split letter. Hope y'all liked it.